Is alginate therapy safe? Alginate therapy is very safe, and alginates have been used in food products uh, for decades. And as a result, don't require additional testing that you might often find with pharmaceutical-based products or medications that are new to the scene. Multiple studies have looked at the side effect profiles of alginate-based therapies. These have been done on children, adults, and even pregnant women. And it's been very hard to find an increased risk of side effects in those populations compared to either the normal population of, of people uh, with acid reflux uh, or those taking placebos for the same type of problem. Are there side effects to alginate therapy? There's almost always a side effect to therapy, at least in some person in the population. However, it's great because with alginates, those side effects are very few and far between. One of those side effects can be gas and bloating. Uh, we know that in order for the alginate therapy to work its best, we need to get that hydrogel to float on the surface of the stomach contents. That occurs by releasing carbon dioxide through a chemical reaction with some of the ingredients in reflux raft to help buoy that raft to the, to the top of the food and liquid that are in your stomach. Too much carbon dioxide is formed. Some people can notice a sense of bloating and potentially belching that could occur in the very short term after taking the product. But this really shouldn't be a long-term issue for people. Some people may experience constipation from use of alginate-based products. Alginates are a soluble fiber. Uh, and like all fiber-based products, even though they're meant to normalize bowel movements and gastrointestinal health, when not taken with a large enough supply of water, they can potentially bind you up uh, by creating too much bulk uh, to your stool. Uh, as a result, we do recommend that with the use of any type of fiber product, uh, there should be no different with use of alginates and making sure you get your six to eight glasses of water a day to optimize uh, health is preferred. Some studies have indicated that there can be interference with nutrient absorption. A couple of these studies have looked at uh, alginate-based therapies intentionally for weight loss properties because of its ability to reduce some fat absorption. Uh, other studies have looked at whether or not uh, key uh, nutrients might be affected. And one study did find that maybe there was a slight reduction in, in the absorption of iron and calcium in the diet. Uh, it's not exactly sure uh, when the alginate was taken in these studies, and uh, it may be a problematic uh, study because of the use of alginates taken during the meal, in which case the alginate becomes incorporated with the nutrients that you want absorbed. When taken after the meal, as we recommend with reflux raft, uh, alginates are less likely to affect nutrient absorption because the foods and the alginate remain separate. What about allergic reactions? Allergic reactions to alginate-based products are very rare, few and far between. Uh, the alginates are very safe. People with other types of seafood or fish allergies don't need to worry about a cross-reactivity because those are based on reactions to completely different proteins and enzymes found in fish that aren't seen in the seaweed. However, if you do have problems with seaweed or allergic reactions to seaweed and seaweed-based products, then it might not be the safest thing to use an alginate-based product. What if you experience side effects from alginate-based therapy? Well, it's probably always best to check with your healthcare provider to help determine whether or not the side effect you're experiencing may be related to the alginate product or may be a sign of something else going on. That being said, you can always try stopping the alginate-based therapy and seeing if those symptoms resolve. If the symptoms resolve and they were minor, it may be still okay to try using that therapy again in order to see if those side effects happen. If they don't resolve, then again, of course, check with your healthcare provider for more information on how to manage those symptoms.